Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today I'm sharing three summer nail art tutorials and this is going to be starting with more of a beginner nail art design and then move to more advanced techniques. So this video will have lots of different techniques for everyone, no matter your skill level. And this is also a super exciting video because it is a collab with Talia from Talia's Nail Studio. And Talia has been a huge inspiration in my nail career. She's an amazing artist and content creator you should definitely visit her channel. So her channel has a huge variety of videos like tutorials, organization, product reviews. So make sure to visit her video and see the three summer designs she created. Talia also just created a press on nail business. So if you are interested in press on nails, definitely make sure to check that out as well. So for these designs, we decided to use the Magpie Beauty Life's a Beach Gel Polish Collection as our inspiration. So I wanted to show you guys these colors. I actually have them on my nails right now. Um, this is my right hand and then my left hand has some matching little flowers. So here are the colors in the Life's a Beach Collection. A couple of the other products that I use in most of these designs is the Magpie Beauty Give Me Strength, which is a thicker gel and the Don't Be Tacky Tackless Top Coat. For the first design, I'm getting all of the colors laid out on my palette, and this is that polka dot manicure, and it's really easy to do, so it's a great beginner nail art design. And the other color I'm going to add to it is the Magpie Beauty Crown Jewels, which is a really pretty gold kind of leaf gel polish, so I'm adding that as well to my palette. And here's all of the gorgeous colors lined up together. As for the base of this manicure, I'm using Magpie's Forget Me A Knot. I've used it in a past couple of my videos. It's one of my favorites. It's kind of like a really pretty, slightly sheer nude color. I think it goes, you know, with almost any other color. So I think that it's pretty versatile. So I'm applying two coats of that and making sure to cure each coat in my lamp for 60 seconds. And then we're gonna move on to the polka dots. For the polka dots, I'm just using a dotting tool and dipping into the colors that I want and placing them randomly on the nail. However, I'm gonna kind of get this to be more of an ombre polka dot manicure. So I'm gonna be concentrating most of the polka dots down towards the free edge. Now I'm just going from one color to the next and I'm making sure and cure each color before I move on to the next color. Otherwise your polka dots could run together. So I'm going to apply the polka dots in one color, cure it, then move on to the next color.
once I've got all of my colors down, I'm just going to top coat it. You'll notice I got a little bit of glitters in the top coat. I think it's because one of the glittery polka dots didn't quite cure all the way in my lamp from where I had placed it. So, but you know, it just adds a little bit of extra sparkle. <laughs> so here is the finished result. I absolutely love it. You could definitely use this as an accent nail and pair the other nails as a solid color. You could pick one of the colors from the polka dots or you could do this on all the nails which I actually did on one of my clients not too long ago and it's so fun it's like the perfect summer party nail art design for the next design I'm starting with one coat of magpies fresh as a daisy which is a really nice sheer milky white and this is gonna be the base for our opal nail design and this designs a little bit more intermediate once I've cured that first gel polish layer, I'm going in with the Mary Bell Iridescent Flakes and I'm going to press those down into the tacky layer over the entire nail and it's going to create the most beautiful iridescent base for this opal nail. The key to opal nails is adding lots of dimension and lots of layers so that you kind of have different layers of color and iridescent flakes and it all works together to create the most gorgeous opal look. Before moving on to the next step, I am doing one coat of the Magpies Give Me Strength and that's just going to seal over those flakes and seal them in and then I am going to move on to adding the colors. So once that's cured, I'm randomly placing some of the different colored gel polishes over the entire nail, just randomly in different spots, uh, just picking some colors that I thought would look really pretty together and would be great for summer. Now I'm taking just like a random old nail art brush that I have and I have a little bit of alcohol on my brush. Not too much, you want to kind of let out some of the excess, but I'm just dispersing and fading out those gel polish colors that I placed on the nail, making them look a little bit more sheer and blended. If you feel like you've lost some of the colors, you can always add in a little bit more. Whatever you wanna do, there's no really right or wrong way to do this. Um, you just kind of keep adding the colors that you want and keep blending them out until you're happy with the look. Now I decided to actually cure this and then I'm gonna add a little bit more color on top just to brighten some of those areas. Some of the colors I just wanted to be a little bit brighter so I cured that so I'm going in now this is a second layer on top. And then again using a little bit of alcohol to disperse those out as well. I've cured that and I'm adding a little bit of the Rosanna flakes just slightly just in a couple little places and again this is going to add to that dimension so you have the different colored flakes on the very bottom of the nail and now we're switching it up and adding some other flakes on top just in a couple different places and again as you that's going to create like this really nice dimension so when you turn the nail you're going to catch the light in different areas and it's going to reflect different colors. Now I've actually top coated the nail with a matte top coat and I'm gonna be using the white ink that they have from Magpie and I'm going to kind of diagonally drag it across the nail, just randomly, try not to think too hard about it. And then I'm gonna use that same brush that I was using before, but this time with a little bit of acetone and I'm going to blend that out. Thank you. 
Now I'm just top coating and that look is done. And it's so gorgeous. This is like one of my favorites, I think, just because of how much dimension there is in this nail. And it's so pretty. Like it's the perfect summer opal because it's got all those different colors in it. And all of those iridescent flakes in there just reflect as you turn the nail and it looks absolutely stunning. For the final and more advanced design, I'm starting with two coats of Ice Lolly from the Life's a Beach collection. And Ice Lolly is gonna be your super bright, kind of like neon pink. And this is gonna be the base for this sunset palm tree design. Now to create the sunset, I'm gonna be working with some pigments. So we have Zo, which is the orange. We have Fleur, which is the purple. And we have Coral, which is a really nice coral pigment. And I'm starting with the orange and I'm fading it from the free edge up. And then I'm going to be going in with the coral and adding it a little bit on top as well as that purple to create the most gorgeous like tropical sunset look. Now, if it looks a little powdery because it's pigment, that's okay because it's just gonna be the background of our nail art design. So it doesn't have to look absolutely flawless. Once we put the palm tree on there and the other stuff, then it's gonna look stunning. Once I finish with the pigment, I'm gonna be doing a layer of Give Me Strength over the entire nail and curing that. When I am trying to do a detailed art design, I prefer to cleanse the tacky layer off the gel before I start hand painting, and this is just gonna help you get some crisper lines. Now I'm working with the Magpies Gel Paint Plus. This is gonna be their thicker gel paint, so you can get really really tiny details with it and I'm using their detailer brush as well and I'm going to be painting a nice little palm tree on the nail. For the starry sky, I'm going to be mixing some of the Magpie gel paint in gold on my palette with a little bit of the Elizabeth chrome dust and it's going to create this gorgeous, super ultra sparkly gel paint that I'm going to use to create that starry background. So I'm going to first paint out a moon and then add some stars around it and it's going to create the most beautiful sunset. Lastly, I'm using the White Gel Paint Plus. I'm just adding a little bit of highlights on top of the palm leaves as well as the trunk of the palm tree.
Once everything has been cured, I am going to top coat and the design is finished. I think this design looks really pretty in matte top coat as well, so I decided to show you guys both. We have matte top coat on the left and then shiny on the right. Which one is your guys' preference? I kind of am leaning towards the matte, but I am a shiny girl. I always love shiny nails, but sometimes the matte just makes the hand painted designs like stand out a little bit better and i think it looks really nice especially over this design so there's the three nail art designs for summer that i came up with inspired by the magpie beauty life's beach gel polish collection this has been one of my favorite collections that magpie has come out with just because i think it's an amazing range of colors and they're these most beautiful like pastel neon colors that are just gorgeous i i just love them so much so make sure again to check out talia's channel and to see what she came up with and thank you guys again for watching i appreciate all of you so much and i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i'll see you guys in the next video